like, comment, and subscribe. Here you guys. Hi, 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 hi. How are you? How are you? And how are you? All the way in the back over there. And it is Friday night, and we are doing a TV talk daily. And today I am excited because we are watching the premiere episode of RuPaul's Drag Race season 12 episode one we're excited so i saw the promo i saw the queens on um ig and their interviews on youtube i am ready so without further ado let's get into the video first always forget this how are you guys doing hope you had a fabulous week let us watch this amazing season i'm so excited guys Got me a little cocktail. And I had some some lunch. I had this is my lunch. I had um pizza. I had some wings. Not even pizza. I had wings. And I had um cheesy burger. Let's see. Oh, Britta. I love this outfit. Mm-hmm. Britta got a big mouth. Like, literally, she got a big mouth. Polynesian? <laughs> what is this dead fox? Yes, Nikki doll. Is that a heel for a hat? That is everything. I love this outfit. Come on, Widow. I love the sequence. I told y'all I want a sequence outfit for my birthday. Yeah, the nastiest bitch from Kansas City. Little looks like fun. Roll call. Oh Lord, Jackie Cox. The Persian princess of drag has arrived. Jackie seems annoying. I'm Jackie Cox and I'm 34 years young. I'm oh, a Middle Lord, Eastern nerd and I'm the Persian and Nat Funicello of drag. <laughs> Man, New York queens. New York in the house. Jackie seems annoying. <laughs> she a little off. Want some? Come on, how are you in the closet? What? What in the house? What in the Mercedes is that? Okay, is someone trying to come from my culture? You know, it's just a little bit like a... Who is she calling? Girl. I see you're not the only cunning linguist in this uh, group here. <laughs> not a big fun of the fan of the outfit. Gives me baps. She met her leprosy print. And she keeps it 100. And she keeps it country. I'm not mad at it though. It's like watching the wall drop. Is that how you say it? Oh, that's good. Gigi's good. I like this outfit, Gigi's good. I'm not just good, I'm incredible. When I love it, honey. The Pirates of the Caribbean was in town. Oh my god. Is one of her legs a peg leg? I need to know right now. Fashion means everything to me. I see my drag going I see her as a, being a fashionista. Oh my god, what is this? This clown outfit. I'm Crystal Method and I'm a little devil oh, that likes um. to raise hell in the Bible Belt. Crystal Method looks crazy. What in the Ronald McDonald is this outfit? I hate it. Crystal Method looks Hispanic. This is like the most diverse cast ever. Not only, you know, us people are black people. Missouri. <laughs> Crystal comes jumping into that workroom looking like now Jackie you was jumping into the workroom too for you know a croissant witch so you're like a, like a bitch is fierce <laughs> not in that outfit girl. like a jack in the box you need to stay in the box wait there's more of them why the message is 
Are they gonna do like season six? Me and six other bitches here. Okay, Ru got on some weird um eyes. I can't look at him. Welcome to RuPaul's Drag Race 2020. I like this outfit. Not too loud. It's not too crazy. Y'all better vote 2020, y'all. We're not just having one premiere. We're having two premieres. Oh and God! Lucky See, like, like season six. Queen's mini challenge. It's Fashion Week at RuPaul's Drag Race, presented by Bubbly Sparkling Water. Come on, Bubbly. To me, the person with the least fashion sense, and I'm sorry to like to um to say this because I like her on IG. Um, I like just I watch her little lives with um Jada Essence Hall. I think Hottie in the Closet is gonna go home tonight. Just judging from the fashion. But anyway, hopefully she doesn't, because I do like her. GG and oh, I like this. Come on, Greta. Nikki Doll. This is nice, Nikki, too, but I'm not that into it. This is not bad, but I like Britta's more. Oh, yes. Oh yes. Giving me Missy teas. This is very um. The den and den and the spy who shags and type of tears. What is this? Oh, very interesting. She gives me I dream of genie teas, lava lamp teas. It's weird, but I don't hate it. <laughs> oh no! How you going home? She literally is snatching wigs. Oh, Gigi, good. This is really interesting. This may be my favorite look. Very spring. Very interesting. Gigi may be a contender. I don't hate it. I like it a lot, actually. It's probably my second. But she's doing too much to hop in. No. Britta. Ooh, Britta. Britta, this look is everything. I don't see how it's fall, though. One thing about Britta, she is cinched. Ooh, Nikki doll, this is my favorite. Ooh, I like this little. Now this looks better than her spring. Her spring alert was like meh, but this one is very good. I love this mesh kind of hat. This little one eyeglass. I love this. Oh lord. I like it, but I. I like it, but I don't at the same time. She's giving me Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan. This is, this is very, um, fall. Jackie's outfit. Very fall. I realize both uh, outfits are very cohesive, very 60s. The din and din era, kind of mod era. I'm not mad at it at all. Ooh. Heidi, this is everything. Don't let nothing fall off now, Heidi. This is not bad. I don't hate it. It's okay. But the first, her first outfit, everything. Oh, oh Crystal, I love this. By Freddy Krueger. Wow, I see it. I see it. I see it, Crystal. I really, I think that's my favorite for the fall. Who is my favorite overall, though? I really, I think that's my favorite for the fall. Who is my favorite overall, though? Leg again. Sorry, it's my third leg. <laughs> Coming up, it's time to dig a little bit deeper. Wait, wait. 
So I'm going to have to say my favorite for the spring was definitely um, Gigi, Gigi Good. That It looked like an Easter outfit for real. The colors were very Easter, very spring. Um, my favorite for fall was Crystal, Crystal Method. That was so creative. It did look like a fall sweater dress, but it was also an homage to Halloween and Freddy Krueger. It's kooky. It's her style. It's good. My worst for the spring would have to be Heidi. And the reason why, if that headdress did not fall it would have definitely been Nikki because I the outfit wasn't bad but it it wasn't you know Nikki you say that you are a, um, a fashionista that outfit wasn't to me it wasn't screaming fashionista and my lowest for the um fall was um excuse me was kind of it would have been Widow if she did not um well going back to spring the reason why I, if Heidi's thing did not fall off of her head it would have been um who did I say that y'all was? Nikki. I'm still getting used to the names. It would have been Nikki, but it's but how do you use my worst for the spring? Cause how you let and even if it fell, you should have had like a wig or something under there, you know? Um, but my worst for fall was um, it was Britta. It was it didn't mesh well together. I heard the story. To me, it wasn't giving me fall. Um, if it wasn't for Widow, would have been my least favorite. Cause that was so bland. It wasn't giving me fall, it was giving me bland. If she didn't take off that little whatever she had under there, the pantsuit looked way way better made than the dress. And help me, big people. Y'all don't have, um, does your garments have to look that big because you're a big person? Help me, I don't know. I'm, I, this is not like no disrespect or read to anybody that is of, that is a big person. Or even help me out to say a better word. Overall, I think Jackie was the best because both her her styles were very cohesive for very 60s. They, you know, very, it was like a, a running theme with her. But anyway, let's see what these other girls, what these girls have to um, offer more. Maxi challenge. You'll be performing the badass rap single on that bitch. <laughs> Yo, these challenges are ridiculous. Not only will you be performing your rap on the main stage, mm -hmm. you'll be performing it in front of who? Of our extra special guest judge, Young Money. Miss Nicki Minaj. Nicki coming. Jackie Cox <laughs> out of drag looks like um. Bianca Del Rio. Yo, Nikki is shady. I like that the two black girls are dancers. Oh, Lord. Britta, am I not gonna like you? Is that Exactly. Okay, Jackie, you have to be the best dancer in the world. Okay, Jackie, you have to be the best dancer in the world. Okay, Jackie, you have to be the best dancer in the world. Because you're not, because you're not allowing yourself to do it, Gigi. Pull it together, and I'm not gonna let myself go home. That's all you could do. Keeps on pulling out the same moves. She just keeps on doing this little thing. Just kept on keeping. Keep on keeping on. Real quick. Now the dancer is about to come out. Widow. I've been in many situations where I had to choreograph on the spot. On the spot. Get it together, widow. Fives, you better five, six, seven, eight. Come on. Don't disappoint me. Oh, you have arms and legs and shoulders. Head, no, shoulders, knees, and toes. Use them. What they should do. You do an eight count, then Heidi does an eight count. Then you do an eight count, does Heidi do an eight count? If y'all are stuck, ask them. You guys have any moves that, you know, you know, pull out some moves that you do in the club. I'll in and incorporate them. I'm just saying. That you should you be that bitch. Yeah. Miss Jackie and Miss Britta. You two hoes. Shut up and let me do my job. Okay. Drop, take a knee. I agree, Widow, but you got to show them that you are doing the job. Because if you were showing that you was that bitch like the song says um 
they would not be doing all this. They would follow your lead and shut up. They would try to maybe just to test your leadership. But if you are a good leader, they can do it. That's what I learned from from being a choreographer. Don't let don't let them hoes see you sweat. Literally, you better pull out every bag in this trip. Watch for that then y'all voted for her to, to be the choreographer. You know, like I said before, and you know they gotta cut it, cut, cut it. They gotta cut and edit. But Widow, you gotta let, you gotta be on it like this, so they don't have a chance to take over. I don't know, Widow, if you allowing them to, you can't do it. And Heidi, why are you not helping? Where you was in the closet, Heidi in the closet. <laughs> Oh my God, Bretta! All that big bigness and you can't twerk. Bretta, you get in your head. Just do it. I like Crystal Method's like attitude and, and positivity. She's always smiling every time the camera cuts to her. I'm starting not to like Bretta a little bit. Getting the rehearsed like everyone else did last night. I'm a little worried. Why? What's up? I actually had a, a really bad allergic reaction. Uh, and I had to be taken to the emergency room. Really? Last night, after hours sleep, I'm spread on adrenaline. We'll see. We're lining you to turn some stuff to tricks in this number, so... Come on, Heidi. Uh -huh. Because back at home, I'm known as a dancer. Persian. I'm terrified of Persian people seeing this and, like, what that's going to be like because it's not okay. Like, being gay is still punishable by death in Iran. Wow. Mickey's head is shaped weird. Someone in public. Widow, I can tell you're getting a little frustrated yesterday in rehearsal. You still mad at us? No. You let it go? I know I'm going to stand out in my part, but I'm worried that Jackie and Britta are going to throw me under the bus because I was nominated as the dancing choreographer. Yeah, they nominated her. Go down. <gasps> Nikki! Come on, next. She better shrug. She look big though. Is she pregnant? Oh, this was shot last year though. Okay, Rue. So, Rue, you gonna make turn looks in this season, not last season? This is nice. But this is what I call sparkles. So, before, so what I do, so I'm trying to save my battery. So, I'm turning off, when it goes to commercial breaks, I'm turning off my camera. So, I'm there talking and talking. And so, when they, you know, they were showing their performances. So, when I go to see the camera, it's off. I didn't tape anything. So, I'm gonna have to record this again. Well, I've seen it, but. I guess I'll react again. I love to give you guys my legit honest reaction, but it is what it is. <laughs> you learn from your mistakes, right? All right? So let's let's watch them perform and get judged. Come on, y'all better walk. Come on, pump through. Crystal Methel, these hips are ridiculous, and she does kind of look like Nicki Minaj. Gigi is thin. That's kind of cool. I like the way how she's rapping. Heidi is so ratchet. Come on, you better shake them titties, Heidi. Hey, Heidi. Ooh, come on, Heidi. They're all doing really good, though. So I want to see who the judges don't like. Me? It might be Gigi. Maybe the... Excuse me, the weakest. Mm -hmm. Oh, Nikki's having fun though. Nikki looks funny in her drag. Her, her head is shaped funny. It's shaped like a squeezed lemon. Come on, Widow! <laughs> Widow is everything. Widow better serve it up. Widow's my favorite. I like this song. I'm about to download it. Back out. Yes, Britta. 
I really like this outfit a lot. Hmm. She reminds me of him from the Powerpuff Girls. This is pretty dope. Crystal, your hips! Do not lie! She knows how to pack. I love this concept, Gigi. This mint, I love a good mint color, so. See, I like this look from Heidi, but it's so basic. So, um, one thing I realize about the Down South Queens on Drag Race. They have a certain aesthetic. It's very pageanty. It's very classy, but it's so basic, and it's already been seen. A lot of the New York and LA, even Chicago queens, go there. They push the envelope. But even for like a lot of the down south girls, Texas, Atlanta, Virginia, stuff like that, um, places like that. Sorry, they're very pageanty, and it's good. But put something else on it. Push the envelope. Make it racy. Make it creative and different and new and fresh love their outfit um Heidi but it's so basic I've seen it you look like Nene Leakes and that wig is actually not even that good and I'm gonna stop talking about her because I like Heidi Jackie Cox. Jackie too Jackie looks basic in this outfit it's nice but it's she has a certain aesthetic and I just hope she doesn't do it too, too much. It's very 60s. It's good, but spice it up. Because you know Michelle is going to read her for filth if she keeps saying it. She did it to Vanjie with um, her, her leotards. Let me pause. Then I'll get on Nikki, Cole, Nikki Doll's case. She did it for um, Dusty Ray Bottoms with the makeup, which I liked. And then I forgot who it was that would always wear like these these dusty white wigs. I think it was in season 7. I forgot the, the queen's name. If y'all know, put it in the comments. But she was a tall white queen and she'll wear like white hair. And in the day that the time she did wear like a different color, she got sent home. So that was kind of weird. Now let's talk about Nikki Doll. And Nikki Doll, I, I don't hate none of the queens yet, if at all. Um... Nikki doll, you keep saying you're a fashionista, you're a fashionista, fashionista. And especially for someone in Paris, you keep saying it, but then I feel so lackluster. And maybe I'm holding you to a candle because you are from Europe. And European fashion gags you. Like, <sighs> gags you, gags you. But Gigi Good is, is actually doing, her fashion department is way better than yours so far. It's, it's an eh for me. It's okay. Maybe I'm holding a high bar because I like European fashion and European fashion to me personally is way better than American fashion. But right now it looks good. They're good, but I want to see more. Give us more! You're not gagging me. Gigi's gagging me a bit. Rue like the big girls. Okay, so one thing about I like what I do like about Widow's um outfit, this piece right here. That shape like an oyster. It's pretty dope. What I don't like about it, a lot of her looks are very because she is a big girl. It's not, it's, it's too, it makes her look too big. It makes her look too big. It's not shaped well on her. She needs to proportionize or something. But I do like Widow. To be honest, Widow's probably my favorite queen so far. But Widow Van Du, when you turn around, you look like a vagina. I don't like the back of it either. In the fashion show, we're both very beautiful. I just like the first one. This runway look certainly is sparkly, but what I'm really appreciating are all the details. Mm. Creating a narrow waist with the peplum flare. This is my fa probably my favorite look. Really, really freaking good. Thank you so much. Why does when a judge, guest, host, judge, whatever, say something, or maybe it's the camera, Michelle gets very tense up. This is not your show. It's Drew Paul's show. First, first and second of all, not everybody's going to agree with you. She's... You're going to judge from a drag aesthetic, I guess, even though you're not a drag queen, Michelle. Nikki, 
is going to judge from a performer aesthetic. I understand it. And that's why she's a guest judge. They want to hear from that perspective. The favorite thing that you did was that Freddy Krueger. Yes, that was my favorite fall look. Thank you. Very costumey, but you know I love it's sequence. You, you know I love a good costume. You Yes, I do too. What was that? I feel like I've uh, been watching this show for so many years. Mm. Over so Especially many seeing my show about she got. You know so what, there's... Michelle? You're absolutely right. She does feel now that you said that, Michelle. It puts two and two together. That's her, she has a good sa fashion sense. I'm not seeing it that much. I'm seeing. Okay, she's kind of like me. I doubt myself a lot. So a lot of the times, if I'm whether I'm dancing, I'm singing, or doing any type of performance or putting together a look myself, I down myself a look. I down myself a lot, and I have a friend that always gets me on that. I love her to death. I hope she's watching. I'ma send her this video actually. I remember one day I'm like choreographing, and she said it looks good, but I know you could do better, and she made me do it better. And then I did it. She's like, now that's the insert my real name that I know. But I think Nikki's doubting herself. I think she can go further than this. Because if you saying that she was a fashion chick, I don't see it. This looks okay. This looks good. Like, first time trying. But I feel like you can pull out more stunts out your bag next. And I'm here for it. What I loved most was your rap and the performance. It was some next level It was. Very, very good. I am not... The biggest Nicki Minaj fan at times. Sometimes I like her. Sometimes she gets on my nerves. But she can rhyme. She can. She can rhyme. She's good at metaphor. She's good at similar. She. She should. If she wasn't a rapper, she should have been an English teacher. That's how I'm gonna say. That's how good of, of a rapper she is. And I'm, that's all I'm gonna give her for now. On you, on Heidi and Claus. Uh, I think she might be at the bottom, Heidi. How are you gonna be in the in the bottom? Second guess yourself. You're safe. So who's the bottoms? Heidi and Closet. Your performance gave us a severe reaction. Mm -hmm. You're safe. What? Oh, they all safe then. They they not going I'm home. The bottom? I am trying so hard not to cry. I want to throw some shit, but I can't because I None of them ain't going home. I don't even know what to think. Did I really do No, it's either one of them is going to be the winner. Either Did you good? And Widow Von Du. I'm sorry, my dears. But you are the top two queens of the week. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Because <laughs> Gigi was good. <laughs> No one's going home. No pun intended. But two queens. Ooh, this is a twist. Four. Four. Your. Life. Woo! Come on, Widow. Okay, Gigi. What you doing? Give me, give us something, Gigi. Gigi's funny. It's actually a good lip sync, surprisingly. I can tell that Miss Nikki is getting her mother right. So if you ever need a bitch in a video, call out. <laughs> she is flexible. Boom! They say that she can perform. That was good. They both were actually different but good at the same. Come on. That was pretty. That was a way to open it. Even last season they did good. Fantastic lip sync. And I've made my decision. Widow. Widow Von Du. You're a winner, baby. But don't get too comfortable mm -hmm. because there are more queens clocking in soon. Mm -hmm. We are go. I am going to watch um, the after show, but 
before that, because my battery about to die, I'm going to fix my battery up real quick. We are going to, um, that was a great episode. I don't have much to say. I'm just going to bring it back over here. So let's do it. We're going to deliberate on the couch. Okay, so that was the first episode, the season premiere of RuPaul's Drag Race, season 12, episode 1, and I got my life. It was really good. My favorite so far, I like Britta. There was a little bit of um, part where she was kind of getting on my nerves, but that's fine. Um, I like, um, of course, Widow Von Du. I want Heidi to do better. Like I said, I realize a lot of the small town girls, I would like to see her as a, as a um, Cinderella story. A lot of the small town girls, you know, they start like this, but then they start to get, you know, better and better. Like Chi Chi Devane, Chi Chi Devane was like a Cinderella story. Um, so it was kind of a curiosity Davenport, even though she was really good, but she was always seen in the background. And, um, it's a lot. I, I actually don't mind, I like all of them so far, but my favorite so far are like, I, Widow Von Du. So far, she's my favorite. Sis could perform. I heard about Widow Von Du. Um, those outfits were pretty dope. So let's count down these um, these outfits right quick, you know, since it is somewhat of a fashion show. But Widow Von Du is my favorite. But let's count down these fashions right quick. So for fall, my number six was Britta. Um. It was a good concept with the oil spill, but I wasn't really getting far from it. If y'all did, let me know in the comments because I really was not getting any type of what is that in my thing? Any type of fall. Um, to me, I, I, I didn't really like it. I, I didn't think the story was told that well because if I just was to see it, I would tell that you were talking about the oil spills in the ocean. Number five is Widows. I, and like I said, she is my favorite. She killed it in the performance, but. This um, piece wasn't good. It was too bland for me for fall. Number four was Jackie. She's very cohesive. It was very good. But don't be a one trick pony, Jackie. I'm seeing a lot of 60s from your outfits, but I don't, I don't want it to be different. Cohesion, but different. You know, be creative. Number three was um, Nikki Doll. Now that Nikki did Nikki Min well Nikki Minaj now that Nikki Minaj said what she said, I really um believe that she is a little nervous. I want to see that fashion Nisa that you're considering yourself to be. I really didn't um I didn't I like this outfit. This was probably my favorite outfit from her with the mesh hat and the eyeglass, but it wasn't my favorite. Maybe if it was a different color, like maybe. Uh, fall colors like maybe brown and um orange maybe not necessarily orange but like a maybe a burnt maybe a brown something i would like it more number two was actually heidi's i like the colors in it only thing is she was shaking it too much i said if she shake it and those come off too i'll be mad at her but my number one fall pick was crystal that freddy cougar sweater dress was so that's creative now that's some hot topic type um, wear that I, I, I would see something like that in Hot Topic. And she's, for the record, she's very positive and seems very cool and stuff. Number four, Jackie Cox. I want to see some cohesion from you. Um, I mean, I be see cohesion from you, but I want to see something bigger. Number three was Crystal Method. I like the colors of hers. Number two, my battery is about to die, so I'm going pretty quick. Number two was Britta. That color was amazing. And number one was Gigi Good. Um, I love the um, easterness of it all. And I see she likes herself some helmets, like the way how I love a gas mask or any type of mask. Now, that was your RuPaul's Drag Race um, review recap. Not much of a rant, but reaction. And I was here for it. And Nikki, you was doing good. You were likable in this episode. And, um,. Without further ado, why am I saying that? But stay tuned for my um drag race um after show. What is it called again? Whatever. I'm talked. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm gonna charge my um battery real quick and then go. Bye.